everybody, it's Nerdiversal here with the very first video of Halloween! I know it's October and I know it's not exactly Halloween yet, but it's, it's, it's Halloween! So for the first video for this season, because you know I gotta go hard, we're gonna be doing my top 5 horror Vocaloid songs. These range from disturbing to creepy, um, but I hope you guys enjoy! Let's get started! <laughs> So at number 5, we have Gomenne Gomenne by Kikuo. So this song is at the top of the list because it's less of a traditional horror sounding song, but it's more disturbing than anything. I wouldn't really call it scary, but it is definitely disturbing and creepy. This song is about a girl who grows up enduring sexual abuse at the hands of her father. At some point in the song, she falls in love with another boy because he's treating her gently and pitying her abuse. She runs away with this boy, but at this point she's so abused and conditioned to believe that she's a bad person and the abuse is her fault that she returns home to her dad, likely believing that she doesn't even deserve to be treated well. It talks about what happens when she goes back home, but if you really want to know I recommend listening to it because it's some pretty dark stuff that I honestly don't really want to say out loud. The song itself and the lyrics have some really disgusting and grotesque imagery, so if you're going to listen to it, definitely be prepared. Personally, I like this song because when I first listened to it, I thought it was just like a fun Miku song, you know, it had like a good dubstep beat and stuff like that. But I started noticing some like weird things in the sound, like some kind of creepy weird noises. And then I read the lyrics and I read the comments and I was like, oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. And honestly, I couldn't even really listen to it after that, even though I really like the beat. But every now and then I'll return to it and think, wow, this is really fucked up. Number four on the list, we have Wide Knowledge of the Late Madness. So this song is actually a prequel to another song on the list, which I think is why I like it so much aside from like the eerie tune and the video itself, but we'll get into that after this. So the song is about a patient who gets taken to a hospital or a facility of some kind. It's never stated why exactly, just that the main character is there, but every night they pick a new patient to take to the pretty room down the hallway and they start chopping off and mangling body parts, probably without anesthetics, and there seems to be an animal or creature that also eats some of these body parts. The main character is next to be taken to this room but is excited since she seems blissfully unaware of what happens in that room. There's a video that goes with this song, so I recommend watching the video when you listen to it, but it ends the video with the next song on this list, which it is the prequel for, so let's go there. So number three, we have Darkwood Circus, and this song tells us exactly the reason they were cutting people up in the last song. In this one, a little girl goes to a circus called the Darkwood Circus, where they have all kinds of deformed people perform. If you watch the video to the white knowledge of the late madness, there's some parallels in the people they show here. For example, the one with two heads in the video is created from Rin and Lin from the first video when they both got their heads cut off to make this new person, and the creature that it had talked about that ate the body parts also comes up as Kato, the blue beast that loved to eat things cold. The song then goes on to talk about how miserable these beings are, how they only live to be abused, and they're in constant pain from the slow decay of their bodies, and some really messed up shit. And the song ends with it implying that the main character that went to the circus is actually a part of it too. This one is another one with a good video, so if you listen to it, watch it as well. Number two on the list, we have Rugrats Theory. We are getting into the good stuff, personally, I think. So this song is based on a creepypasta theory about the Rugrats, which if you're familiar is just an early 2000s show about babies doing things and getting into trouble. The theory goes that none of the kids are actually real and they're all a part of Angelica's schizophrenic imagination and she eventually goes on to doing heavy narcotics in order to keep these hallucinations and she dies from these narcotics. The theory is pretty dark and while I know it's a little bit ridiculous and it's definitely not the intended story of Rugrats, this song is creepy as hell. If you want to read more about the theory, I'm including a link to the creepypasta fandom in the page description. I think reversed audio is really scary and the beginning of the song is just that, it's reversed tunes and it also has some pretty creepy sounds later on as well. But God, that freaking reversed audio, bro. And actually, a side note to attest to the weird kid I used to be in early high school, I used to listen to this for fun on the bus home because I think it's actually a pretty good song, but I could never listen to it by myself though. I'd probably just get way too creeped out. Number one on the list, we have Secrets of Wisteria. Number one on the list, oh boy. This one deserves its spot as number one. This song is definitely the scariest and the most fucked up on the list in my opinion. This one is another one that has a video to go with it and I definitely recommend watching it. 
It's very well animated and adds some creepy imagery to the already existing story. But for those of you that don't know, this song is based on the real story of Albert Fish, also known as the Werewolf of Wisteria, among other names, and his victim, 10-year-old Grace Budd, who, by the way, was the girl whose murder got him convicted. This man was a serial killer, child rapist, murderer, cannibal, real piece of shit guy. He was a suspect in at least five murders, but only officially confessed to three of them and stabbing two other people. There's a lot of really awful things about this guy, which if you're interested in, I'll include a link in the description. But the most important thing to note is that this guy preyed on so-called easy targets, such as mentally disabled orphans or homeless black children, people he assumed wouldn't be missed. However, when he killed Grace, she was taken from a family who knew where she was at when she died. He had used a fake name to throw people off, but eventually they figured it out because they had a picture of him and, you know, it was this whole thing that if you read the link it'll talk about. He actually sent a letter to this little girl's mom describing in gruesome detail what he had done to the daughter. It's really really fucked up but a snippet of this letter is featured in the song as a reverse audio. I'm gonna play that for you right here but trigger warning this is really fucking awful. <laughs> I choked her to death, then cut her in small pieces, so I could take my meat to my rooms, cook and eat it. How sweet and tender her little ass was roasted in the oven. It took me nine days to eat her entire body. I did not fuck her, though. I could have, had I wished. So yeah, that was fucking scary. In the song, it mentions that more than just Grace Bud were murdered by him, and it gets gross about talking about their decaying bodies and stuff. Um, I think this is actually the worst one because not only does it sound scary, but it's based on a really horrible, terrifying story of a very piece of shit guy. Definitely worth the watch. Also, by the way, he's been dead since 1935. Very good stuff. All right, everybody, that's all on my list. If you guys got any more horror Vocaloid songs that you think are really cool or really scary, definitely put them in the comments below. I love hearing stuff like that, especially for the month of Halloween. And if you guys enjoy content like this, stick around for the month because I like to go big for Halloween. I like to actually make content for Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like it. See you guys. Bye!